welcome back to my channel this is Fiona from Lavender Blue and welcome if you are new here um, so today I am doing the freebie Friday that we had last week uh, last Friday in the Facebook group um, I have a free printable which is this page here and you can find this in my Facebook group if you're not in my Facebook group you can find it on my Kofi page. So everything's linked below in the description box. And this is a they're just a couple of squares and some butterflies, some words, and some flowers. And what we're going to be making out of this is these cute little corner huggers. And I've got mine at the moment just holding together this little signature in a journal that I'm making. I haven't stitched the signature signatures in yet. Um, and these were really handy for holding them together. And this is my other one here. But they are um, corner huggers that you can use as, you know, you can use them as a tuck spot. So you can put them on the top of the page. You can tuck something in. You can put them on the bottom of a page and tuck something in as well on both sides. And, um, or you can use them as a bookmark, you know, just to mark your spot. So, and they look really nice. I really love them. They're really cute and they're really simple to make. So I'm going to make one more with you, just one more with you. Um, in this video I did make the other two in my Facebook group um, so all you need to do is cut out the squares and so I'll cut this out and I will cut um, a couple of butterflies and some words and a flower out and I'll be back Okay, so I've cut all my little bits and pieces out. So now I'll show you how we make it. So first of all, I'm going to just find the center. So I'm not gonna fold this completely down. I'm just gonna make a little mark in the middle there. And then I'm gonna fold it the other way and do the same, just so I know where the center is. There. So I've got my center here where those two little folds meet. And I'm going to, it doesn't really matter which way up you do this. Um, just gonna fold the bottom two quadrants up into the center. Like that. And then all you do, don't glue these down by the way, we need them open. But then what you have to do is put glue on the outside of them. Um, actually, where's my other glue? This one will be okay. I wanted my clear glue, but I can't find it. So just using my fabric glue at the moment. So we just stick this down, fold it up as straight as you can and then glue it down. And you might be saying, like I was saying when I first saw it, I think I was inspired by um, Arlene at her channel is creating in the waiting. I know quite a few people have made these, but that's who I was inspired by. And um, yeah, you sort of think, how's that gonna work? Because you've just kind of closed it off. I'll show you. So now we need to cut these pieces off, but without cutting into your triangle, just cut next to it. Okay, 
So we've got that. And what we do now is we cut along the bottom here, along the long edge, just a sliver, just to open it up. Now we should have our little opening and that's our little corner hugger. It's neat isn't it? I really like them. So I'm going to just decorate up this one, um, sort of similar to how I did these. I like to ink first. Obviously, you don't have to. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of lace across the bottom edge. Let me see if I've got my my little one. I had a thin, sort of a thin lace. No, that one's a bit too thick. A bit too wide. Yeah, I just wanted a thinner lace to go at the bottom. I wonder if this is um, Let's have a look. I've got this white one. Yeah, that'll probably be good. So I'm just going to put it... I don't... Did I do both sides? I did both sides with this one, but I didn't with this one because I added a bit of um, sort of fabric or it's a sort of, um, it was an old scarf, silky fabric on that one. Um, but um, yeah, I think I'll put the lace on both sides again. Where's my glue? There it is. And then you just cut off your little overhanging bits on the sides here. So, a bit more lace on this side. Trying not to get any glue inside the pocket. Work that down on there. Glue it down and cut off my overhang again. Okay, so we've got that. Now, what did I do here? I just did a little bit of, um, I've got like a little piece of gauzy fabric and then another piece of lace and a floral lace and a bit of bling and then I put a word down there let's just see what I've got so I might just um, get um, I do want one of my little flowers again where are we I just think they look really nice on there so just get one for the front. This I bought in at Timu, by the way, if you're looking for it. I need to get some more. I really like that stuff. And I'll cut off a bit more of this um, old scarf or whatever it was here. again yeah, obviously you don't have to use fabric or lace um, you can use all paper to decorate I, I just like having the different textures that's all and 
And then I'm going to put this on the top. Which way does that go? I think. Um, I think this is the bottom. Like that. And let's cut out one of the words. This was. This is part of the free freebie. down here I could have put something else under that but I don't think I will and then let's find let's do a little bit of this sort of pink bling because the journal I'm making, the flip-flop journal, is sort of pink and green, pink and green themed. And I think I've made a, yeah, I've done it, the last one was a green one. So I've cut out two butterflies, so I think I'll use one on the front and one on the back. I'm just going to put this one on this side. There's the front of my little corner hugger. And on the back, I'm going to put the flower. I tried to make the printable um, like as neutral as possible so that um, you, you know, you can add your own colors, whatever colors you want. So we've got our rose there. Let's put um, a bit of lace and butterfly. I have this old coffee dyed lace. And I don't want the edges completely straight, so um, should I put the butterfly? I might put him in the center of this one. Just glue across here. Bit of ink. for my glue. Glue and put our little butterfly down there. And of course you could do both sides exactly the same. I just did mine a little bit differently. I might put um, another word. Let's see what have I got on here? My story, treasure, hope. Journal. Okay, so let's put memories on the other side of this one. Now the one I did today, I did print that one on paper that was, I think, 200 GSM, so it was nice and thick. But the one I did in the Facebook group, these two, they were printed on ordinary printer paper. So it's plenty good enough. It's because you're sort of folding it double. Uh, it still comes out nice and thick by the time you've decorated it. So any paper will do. Let's put a little word on this one. There. That's the other side of my little corner hugger. Let's 
see what this one looks like. There we go. There you have it. So if you'd like to download my free printable, you will find it in my Facebook group and on my Ko-fi page. And every Friday I have a free download for you. So keep an eye out for that in my videos or in the Facebook group. And thank you for very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.